Welcome to Movie Caps. Today I will show you a comedy film from 2012, titled Project X. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. Costa stands outside Thomas's house and initiates Project X for the boy on his birthday. He's sure his parents are not there and just lets himself in with the cameraman, singing that they are going to get laid tonight. Costa tries the cake and talks about how wet his little Costa is going to get tonight. Thomas' mother sneaks up on him, what's going to get wet tonight? He apologizes for his behavior and walks away embarrassed. Costa plays a prank on Thomas and asks him how he feels on his last day as a loser. Dax is their trusty cameraman for the day. Thomas' father gives them money for a pizza party. They are leaving for their anniversary, which coincides with Thomas' birthday. His dad knows Thomas will have some friends over, four or five friends at most, no one is allowed to touch his car or go into his office, those are his rules. Dax secretly records the conversation between Thomas' mother and his father. She's worried about leaving Thomas alone all weekend, but his dad mentions that he's kind of a loser and everything will be fine. His parents sing him happy birthday and give him a minivan as a present. Costa does not think the minivan is a real car, so Thomas suggests taking Costa's car, psych, he doesn't have one. While driving, Costa asks Thomas if he's ready to party tonight. He's not sure, he'd rather not, he is chickening out. They need this party to leave a legacy. At school, they run into JB. They are considered a group of losers, even when someone talks about a party where everyone got laid, they were not invited, even wheelchair Robert got beat off. Thomas still tries to back out of the party as it's at his house and he's taking all the risk. Costa and JB are offended that he thinks they would ditch him. Costa is constantly talking big game and how great he is. He urges Thomas to make this party happen. Thomas agrees, with a condition that a maximum of 50 people come and they cannot enter the house, only the backyard. In class, Costa sends everyone in his contact list a message about an epic party tonight, he calls it mass marketing. Everyone in the school got the message. Later, Dax sees Thomas talking to Kirby in the bleachers. He gets closer and they talk about Costa for a while and he invites her to the party. She says she has a present for him and will give it to him tonight. During lunch, they wonder if the hottest girl in school, Alexis, will attend. Costa goes around inviting all the girls to Thomas' house tonight if they want a piece of that white chocolate. Honestly, no one knows who Thomas is. Some ask if they can bring some friends, and the answer is sure. They even edit the school sign inviting people. Thomas takes it upon himself to invite Alexis, she'll be there. They visit the mall, buy the main necessities, and play a few tricks. At the checkout they notice Miles, a well-known party star. They invite him to their party, but he has other plans. Just in case they tell him the name of the street and it turns out that the party he's attending tonight is at Thomas' house. Miles tells them that he will supply them with booze and that some of his friends will be coming over tonight. Four of them are taken aback. While driving to their next destination, the group exchanges plans for tonight, mostly about girls and popping their cherries. JB doesn't go that far, he'd be happy with fingering, such as machine gun, circle of pleasure, itsy bitsy spider, tapping and circling, tap tap tap, Costa has had enough of his BS. When they arrive, they leave Dex in the car because the guy they are visiting, T. Rick, doesn't like cameras. T. Rick, a supplier of Kush, invites them in and Dex finds a new angle to film from. Costa grabs T. Rick's gnome and hands it to Dex and when T. Rick comes back, they get the stuff. As they are about to get in the car, T. Rick charges at them and yells at them to give the gnome back. He cracks his windshield, but they manage to drive away. Costa reassures Thomas he has a cousin who will fix his windshield. At that moment, T. Rick appears out of nowhere like a Terminator and scares them, but they just drive away. Everett and Tyler will be security tonight. They look serious. JB and Costa go around the neighborhood informing people they are having a little birthday party for Thomas tonight and apologizing in advance for the noise. They set everything up, DJ, bar, karaoke in the pool house, even a bounce house and put up some signs for clarity. In an hour this place should be a madhouse, they toast to that. Two hours later, DJ is bored and one guest is yet to arrive, but at least Kirby showed up as promised. Costa reassures Thomas because he's sure people will come, JB got himself a classy suit. At that moment, they hear cars pulling up. Everyone is flocking in and Thomas' backyard suddenly is full of people. There are already a little over 50 guests. Even Alexis has come. They set up the keg and the bouncy house is ready to go. Thomas and Costa play beer games with everyone and have a great time while more people come. Milo the dog enjoys his time in the pool and bouncy house, and the party goers take Milo everywhere. The party is full of beautiful girls. 
There are so many people that Thomas starts to wonder who everyone is, like the guy with the mustache who probably graduated before he was born. Some guests time Isla to the balloons and release him into the air. Thomas notices this and says that's not cool. Thomas and Kirby bring Mila down and talk inside. They share a moment and Thomas decides to go back outside to keep an eye on people. They praise Thomas for his party. He gets some guys off his dad's car and he feels like things are getting a little out of hand. Costa calms him down with a shot of tequila. Some Playboy stars are attending and Miles arrives with the party bus. That's when Tyler reports that people have entered the house because there's not enough room in the backyard. Thomas tries to get everyone out of the house, even though it seems like a jerk move. That's when Alexis cheers him on and Miles comes into the house to root for him and for the party, so he decides against it. Rob, the disgruntled neighbor, comes over. The little party he was promised is a bit too much. Rob tells him to shut down the party or he'll call the police. At that moment, Everett tases Rob down from behind. Rob gets up and punches him. Costa says if he calls the police, they'll have video of him hitting a kid released, so he better let it go. Costa praises Everett for his heroics and for taking a punch, ultimately saving the party. He tells him to spy on the neighbor when he calls the cops to radio it into him and he agrees to do so. Inside, as Thomas closes off the areas, Costa reassures him that everything is under control and he will help clean up before his parents arrive. They jump into the pool and when a girl tries to get in, Costa stops her and tells her to read the sign, it worked, he is surprised himself. After the pool, the four are in his parents' room wondering how the gnome got there. Alexis texts Thomas, body shots for the birthday boy, while JB distracts him with his mom's toys. Costa replies to Alexis, I want your booty too mommy. Thomas is embarrassed, but after a while he dances with Alexis and she whispers for him to go in. Together they have one of the most erotic tequila shots I have ever seen. Suddenly Costa yells to Thomas that his father is calling, he should answer. He answers and tells his dad that he couldn't answer his calls before because they were in the hot tub. His father tells him that he hopes the house will be clean when they get back. He assures his dad that everything will be fine. They continue to have their fun. Costa receives a radio message from Everett. He informs him that Rob is arguing with his wife, she tells him to call the cops, but he refuses. Everett is upstairs in their house and refuses to get out. Thomas and Kirby walk up the stairs and Dex follows them. She gives Thomas his birthday present, a picture of them as teenagers. Thomas and Kirby make out. After hearing a noise, Dex hurries down the stairs. Everett tells everyone to go to the backyard, he heard Rob calling the police. They start closing the blinds and cleaning up the bottles. The police arrive. Costa and Thomas greet them and say they are having a little party for Thomas' birthday as everyone is trying to stay quiet in the backyard. The cops note that there are a lot of cars for a small party and ask if they can look around. Costa declines and tells him they need his permission to enter private property. The cops leave, muttering that everyone's a damn lawyer these days because of the internet. Rob thinks he's won this round. They come into the backyard and get the party back on track. They jump off the roof into the pool, drink from a keg off a tree, dance until their legs go limp, and inhale some helium for fun. Music by Kid Cudi, Pursuit of Happiness, that's gold. Until someone breaks the window, but Costa quickly tries to calm Thomas down, he has a cousin who can fix it. So it goes on. The gnome is flying around, people are hanging onto the chandeliers and breaking them. Miles tells everyone to back off and smashes the gnome. It was full of MDMA pills, people pounce on them and everyone gets a taste. Thomas has noticed that things are beyond a one-day fix, he makes a video apologizing to his parents in advance. Costa and JB find him. The man with the mustache had previously told Thomas that he found out about the party through Craigslist, what a way to advertise, another twist when JB reveals that the ad was placed not only on Craigslist but also on a radio station. The party is a huge success and Costa assures him that he'll fix the whole house himself if he is too. JB puts on my mind is telling me no, but my body, my body is telling me yeah, and Costa gives him Molly and tells him to relax and have fun. They go outside and everyone sings a birthday song for Thomas. I never know how to act at times like these either. They continue the party. Inside, a little person is acting all smug and tough, so a group of people shove him into an oven. Alexis is out looking for Thomas. Thomas is chatting with Kirby and having a great time with her. She notes that she was expecting a small get-together, but it got a little bigger, Costa comes and yells there's a little man in the oven. They open the oven and the little man starts cracking balls of everyone he sees. They lay outside and Costa admits that he loves them and that he's sorry for being a jerk sometimes. Thomas reveals that he hooked up with Kirby and really likes her. Costa tells him that Kirby has always been around and tonight is about the girls they never had a chance with. 
They go in, totally hammered, and continue a party that some people have already called the party of the century. People do it for the state, but we are just showing family-friendly scenes here. Alexis calls Thomas upstairs. Everett is there talking to himself. When he hears them approaching, he hides and films it. Alexis and Thomas get it going, but Kirby walks in on them and is shocked. Thomas runs after her, but she will not listen to his excuses. Even with Molly, the feelings hit Thomas hard. The girl he likes caught him with someone else, his house is in ruins, he listens to a message from his father in his father's office that the neighbors called and told him about the party. Thomas goes up to the roof and watches everyone from above. The news helicopter arrives and everyone starts chanting Thomas' name. He gives the news the middle fingers and jumps on the bouncy house. The police arrive and the crowd shouts for the policemen to go home, they retreat and call for reinforcements. Suddenly a party has turned into chaos and the police have decided to let things burn out before moving back in. Dex records himself and says that things have gotten out of hand. People start doing dangerous things and to make matters worse, someone drives Thomas' dad's car into the pool, it was the little man. This is when Costa admits that things have really gotten out of hand and he has no idea how to fix any of this. Suddenly, T. Rick shows up in costume and with a flamethrower, looking for his gnome. He sets the cars and trees on fire and the police move in, firing rubber bullets. After trying to burn the police, his tank is shot and explodes. Thomas' minivan blows up and sets the house on fire, which is put out by the police helicopters dropping water. The police are using flashbang grenades to disperse the crowd. Rob still manages to yell at Costa and his security guards take care of him. At 6 a.m., the four of them are at the school's bleachers, Milo is fine, and Thomas tells JB and Costa to go home. Before Costa leaves, he tells Thomas it was a damn good night. Dex is also leaving. The news said it was the party of a lifetime. Thomas' father is furious, pointing out the cost of everything. He had so much going for him and threw it all away for one night, he never thought he had it in him, literally. Thomas tells him there were a couple thousand people here, it was great. Sometime later Thomas is driving to school in his minivan. He walks through the school and everyone applauds him for the awesome party and chants his name, everyone except Kirby. He catches up with her and tells her his life is in shambles, he burned down his neighborhood, bankrupted his parents, and he'll be in debt until he dies, but she's the only thing he wants to fix right now, and his next birthday he would only want to spend time with her. They reconcile. The end. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this.